Hello everyone, this is Jeff Tordowski with UB Successful. In this video, I'll show you how to install and configure HCL Nomad on an Android device. We make a few assumptions. The HCL Nomad software supports your Android device. You are using an Android device and your company has an HCL Domino server. You have an HCL Notes user ID and password to that Domino server and there is a path between you and the Domino server. Let's get started. Install HCL Nomad on an Android device. Start by going to the Google Play Store and search for HCL Nomad. We want the one here at the top. Select it. On the screen will be details about which Android devices are supported. Google should be able to figure this out. However, if there are any issues, come back and double check. Select Install. That's all there is to installing the HCL Nomad on the Android device. Let's configure the HCL Nomad software. Select Open. As with any software, there's a licensing agreement to utilize the product. Select Agree. This screen is where we make our first connection to the Domino server using Nomad. My recommendation is that your first time is on the network with your Domino server, not remote. Type in the username and the server name. Make sure the server name is in the correct hierarchical format. If your name doesn't match the name in the Domino directory, you will get this client configuration message. Select Previous. Check that you typed your name correctly. My name is Jeff, not Hef. Correct your name and click Next. Assume your name and server are correct. Nomad will prompt you for your HCL Notes ID password. This will take you into the Nomad workspace just like in HCL Notes. HCL Nomad is now configured. Let's see our mail. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Open Application. The Open Application dialog box should display. This screen shows you where you are looking and the files located there. My device is showing the local databases. Bookmarks, log file, contacts, better known as the address book. Select on the device. A list of previously connected servers is displayed. I'm selecting the server that I used in the initial configuration. Notice there are many files on this server. Mail files are usually located in the mail directory. Scroll down till you find the mail directory. Select Mail. Scroll down till you find your mail file. In my case, I have two databases with the same name. Experience has taught me that my mail file is the second one on the list. Select your mail file. Your mail file should be displayed on the screen. Except for the toolbar down the left and the menu across the top, your mail file should look exactly as it does in the basic notes client. We can go down to select folders, select one of your folders. Notice mine has three emails in it. Go back to inbox. Let's create a new email. Select new message. This will bring up our standard email form. Notice the signature that is in our mail file was also brought into my email. This email message works just like email and notes. Once finished, we can select either Send or Send in File, or we can select the X by the New Message tab to discard. This brings us back to our inbox. Let's look at our mail file on our device in Landscape Mode. In Landscape Mode, we'll see fewer emails because of the vertical limitation. However, we will see more details on each line. On my Domino server, I have a discussion database I call Test. 
We're going to open the database and add a few documents so we can see changes. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Open Application. Here's our Open Application dialog box again. Select our server. Here we can scroll down to the discussion database. Select Test. The database opened up. This is the standard about document on a discussion database. It gives us a general outline of what this application does and how we can utilize it. Select the X on the tab of the About Test Design. You'll notice that I have a few documents already in there. Let's create a new main document by selecting New Main Topic. Fill in some details for the subject and the content. Select Save and Close. Notice that our document is at the top of the view. I'm going to disappear for a moment and add a response document using my HCL Notes client. Select the refresh icon. Notice that I added a response document to the top document in the display. Let's say this is an application we'd like to take with us even when we're disconnected from a network. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Make Available Offline. This will bring up the Make Available Offline dialog box. We can set up the details of how we want the database to synchronize with our Android device. We can change the file path, maybe place it in a subdirectory. We can decide if we want all the documents or just certain documents that meet specific criteria. We can limit attachment size, so if there are attachments, we won't use up all the space on our Android device. The last one removes documents not modified in 30 days. This setting might be useful if it were like a help desk application and we were doing trouble tickets and you didn't need to see the old tickets. However, someone will always ask you about something that is older than 30 days and you won't be able to find that information and you'll have to move back to the server copy to see what they are re referencing. Select OK. The discussion database is now making its initial synchronization to my Android device. Let's open the test discussion application on the Android device. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Open Application. Notice the discussion database called Test is now in the list of databases on my device. Let's select Test. The About document displays again since this was the first time this version of the discussion database has been opened. Notice we have the original documents plus the main document we created with the Android device plus the response document I created from the HCL notes. Let's create another main document except this time it will be on the local copy of the discussion application. There's the document at the top. Select the X in the tab to get out of the application. Let's open the discussion application on the Domino server. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Open Application. Change the selection from On My Device to a Domino server. Find the discussion application called Test. Notice the document we created on our device hasn't shown up on the server. Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Replication. Select Replicate All. Select the Refresh icon. And like magic, there is the documentation we created on the Android device now on the Domino server. What settings can we customize in HCL Nomad to improve our experience? Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Help. Select Settings. Detailed logging is currently disabled. Simply select the icon towards the right to enable additional logging for troubleshooting. Select Application Size. The Application Size dialog box shows up giving us a chance to change our font from medium 
to either small or large. Small will allow additional information to be displayed on the screen. Large will allow those of us that wear glasses to see the screen without them. Let's select small so we can see how the discussion application looks with a smaller font. Notice everything on the screen got smaller. Change the setting again. This time, change the font size to large. Notice how everything is larger, but we see less information on the screen. Font size change will have a similar effect in portrait mode also. The workspace here is slightly different from the workspace on the HCL Notes client. In Notes, we would have two icons, one for the local copy of the discussion application and one for the server copy of the discussion application. This workstation only shows the most recent location we opened. Notice as I open up the application in a different location, the workspace changes. Where do we find help? Select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select help. Select product documentation. This will take us to the HCL website. Select HCL Nomad Documentation. If you want to see what the Apple version can do, you can select that here. In our case, select HCL Nomad Android Documentation. Let's go back to our Android home screen. Go to your Android application list. Find the HCL Nomad, long press on the icon till it starts to move, then drag it to the home page to make it easier to start the HCL Nomad application. Select the HCL Nomad icon, type in your HCL Notes client password. That brings us back to our workspace. Once finished using HCL Nomad, select the three bars in the upper left hand corner. Select Exit. A dialog box will display making sure that's really what you want to do. Select Exit. A few pointers about HCL Nomad. First, if you don't exit out of HCL Nomad, it will continue to run in the background. Second, you must replicate most applications in fewer than 30 days. When you delete a document, a component called a deletion stub will be created in the database so that when it replicates, it will remove all the other copies of the document. If you don't replicate in a timely manner, documents will magically return. Take your time and explore what HCL Nomad can do for you.